Network. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Uh, do you know why that was not done? There are exceptions to that rule. Uh, I do not know, however. Again, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that I don't know. I, I just don't know. I don't know whether or not. Uh, I just don't know. I don't know exactly how I, IRS is constructed. It. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know when the subpoena was issued. Well, I don't know precisely. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the specific questions. Now, again, I don't know what happened. Well, either you know or you don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I, I don't know. I, I just don't know when. I don't know. I'm not from. I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Oh, all right. I did not know. I don't know what you all are going to ask me. I didn't know. Uh, I, I technically. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Infowars.com studios. It's Alex Jones. That's right, folks. From the Infowars.com studios, it's yours truly, Alex Jones, coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas, Austin. And by the way, we're going to have South by Southwest coverage, one of the biggest interactive festivals in the world, uh, for the next two weeks as it kicks off here uh, very, very soon. Next week, we're going to have continued coverage. Uh, and our reporters down there with a lot of breaking news on technology. Edward Snowden is going to be appearing via video connection from Moscow and a lot more uh, in the next two weeks. And I will be staying here. I have uh, politely uh, canceled my trip to England and uh, the Oxford speech just because too much is going on with the situation in Ukraine uh, and so much more. We're going to get into leaked phone call, Kiev snipers hired by U.S.-backed opposition. 
and play the Estonian foreign minister uh, in talks with the U.S.-backed uh, opposition leader. So all of that is going to be coming up, a pretty big story up on Infowars.com. Some of the other news, video, Bloomberg wants to ban free speech on Facebook. They're actually working to not let any pro-gun stuff be there or to let gun shops even be on there. Just it's over. That matter of constitutional protected right, they're going to shut down our First Amendment, not just our second. Order out of chaos, Gladio snipers behind killings in Kiev. That's Nemo's article that goes along with Watson's. Leaked phone call, Kiev snipers hired by U.S.-backed opposition. And the big red link story I haven't gotten to yet. Showdown, Maryland to target 110,000 citizens with gun confiscation. That's right, and it ties into the story, uh, of course, from a couple days ago, where they are uh, sending out letters saying, oh, you didn't get your gun registered in time, come turn it in. We don't care if you fill out the registration paperwork, come turn it in in Connecticut. So, And they're, they're basically passed laws where you can't manufacture guns in California with the micro stamping. I mean, it's on. The last uh, lead smelter that could create bullets closed last year here in the United States. I mean, it is full tilt buggy, uh, the, the death by a thousand cuts against the Second Amendment that's going on. But we're winning the hearts and minds every metric shows. So that's the good news uh, of what's going on on that front. That's some of what's up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Uh, before we get into this leaked phone call and, and play a clip from that, uh, please don't forget this hour is brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com. And if you go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex, you'll find their best specials on three months food supply, four week food supply, their great survival seed vault that's so good we carry it. I mean, it's one of the best uh, non-GMO packages out there for the price. Jumbo seed packs, they've got everything you need to be prepared, and they're great patriots. When FEMA tried to buy out all their food last year, they said no, and blew the whistle. A lot of other folks didn't blow the whistle and let them buy them out. So they're ready to ship to you right now. They've got it all at mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. Be prepared, folks. Don't be dependent on the system with all the instability. Have that storable food that lasts 25 years. And continuing, uh, we are listener supported. When you become a member of the Nightly News, you see the films, the Nightly News, the expanded podcast, commercial-free audio video, all of it, you are funding a true tip of the spear pro-liberty media operation that is growing. And you can get a $5.95 monthly membership or get a yearly membership and get three months free off the regular price. And 11 people can sign in simultaneously with each username and passcode. So create an original username and passcode that, that it isn't anything else you have. It's totally secure as long as it's, it's a passcode that is it to your other stuff uh, and share it with your friends and family. They can, they can, you can give it as a gift, prisonplanet.tv. And lastly, if you go to infowarsstore.com, you can find the wise variety of non-GMO high-quality seeds, the lowest prices, the incredible variety of the best supplements we found out there, bar none, including three supplements we've developed, Survival Shield, fluoride shield and super male vitality as well as the wake up america coffee from the high mountains of southern mexico and the organic volcanic soil bought directly from the uh, chiapas farmers the two different wake up america blends my favorite coffee everybody says it's their new favorite or at least they love it and it's very fairly priced and supports the transmission simply put here's my philosophy i don't get stimulus money like msnbc i don't get uh, hundreds of millions of dollars a year like npr taxpayer money i don't take money in from the the irs or uh, like Warren Buffett in Banker Bailout Money. We just sell the highest quality stuff I can find at the best price. We go out and buy thousands of a dash cam that's the best price, the highest quality, and have it branded to Infowars.com. And then it comes with a free memory stick, and we have the same price as Amazon. Nobody can match the price of Amazon. We've done it. On the dash cams, and then you're supporting free speech in the republic. We've got the magazine, the March issue, The War on Men with John Wayne on the cover. All about how they're putting drugs in the food and water to, to emasculate men. We, you can buy that in bulk at cost. Again, that's our goal. Get the word out. Wake people up. Some of the stuff we have is at cost. Some of it has profit built in to help fund the operation. But the magazine's at cost. We have the best-selling ever Molon Labe, men's and women's. The men's is bronze-colored. 
with the two crossed uh, M4s and the Spartan helmet with the victory wreath, Molon Labe, InfoWars on the back. It says InfoWars uh, with uh, 1776 and Roman numerals. Then we have an InfoWars version of Molon Labe as well. And we have the women's, I think it's the best women's shirt we ever put out, that is gold foil sprayed on and is, uh, you know, women's cut. And it is just fabulous. Men, get this for your wife or your sweetie cake, your cupcake today and support the transmission. You can go up there and see Leanne McAdoo um, sporting the Second Amendment. We got to get her out shooting the 50. It's time to take the reporters out. David Knight, Jakari Jackson, uh, John Bound, uh, of course, uh, Leanne McAdoo, uh, everybody. And uh, take them shooting. Watson's coming soon to the U.S. I'm going to take him out there shooting. He'll love that. I'm going to go shooting again with Mike Judge sometime next week. Maybe he'll let me film it and put it out. That should be interesting. We're going to be shooting some exploding targets at, I think, 1,000 yards. But side issue, ladies and gentlemen, InfoWarsStore.com. But if you want to find the subsections, the Made in America apparel, MadeIn1776.com leads you right to that sub area of the shopping cart. InfoWarsLife.com takes you right to the supplement area. So that's, that's how you navigate that. That's how you do that. By the way, I want to get your take on the IRS situation. You can't take the fifth under penalty of perjury. They make you waive your fifth to fill out the tax form. You try to plead the fifth, doesn't work. This is a private collection agency for the private Federal Reserve, established in 1913, didn't go mainline until 1951. But the, the pig-like creature up there heading up the persecution division, uh, the Inquisition of Second Amendment folks, uh, or the purge of the Second Amendment folks and, and, and the, the, the Tea Party and the rest of it, she takes the fifth. What's your take on that subject? That's what I'm opening the phones up to take a round of calls on. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. We'll go to your calls here in just a few minutes. But first off, Leaked phone call, Kiev snipers hired by U.S.-backed opposition. False flag killings used to delegitimize the government that was ousted. Details of leaked phone call between EU Foreign Affairs Chief Catherine Ashton and Estonian Foreign Minister Umas Pate suggest that the U.S.-backed opposition was responsible for hiring snipers who gunned down protesters in Kiev and not the deposed government of Viktor... How do you pronounce that? Yanukovych? Am I pronouncing that right, guys? Yanukovych? I am pronouncing it right? As the media widely claimed. <coughs> Continuing here. During the phone call, Pate tells Ashton that evidence presented to him by a doctor who treated victims of the sniper attacks clearly indicates both police and protesters were being shot at by the same people. Yes, to create the illusion. And this is what Operation Gladio would do. And, and Kurt Nemo's article gets into that. How NATO, and again, I'm not defending the Russians during the Cold War. It's that both sides did dirty stuff, okay? NATO did hundreds of bombings and shootings from Germany to Italy, from France to Ukraine, you name it, into, into non-NATO countries at the time. Where if, if, if communists started getting too popular, they'd shoot people and blame it on them or bomb people and blame it on them. If right-wing groups got too popular and they didn't like where they were going, they would shoot people and blame it on them. Uh, if mainline groups, I mean, they did this over and over again. This got declassified by the Italian government 14 years ago and then even more about three years ago. And the U.S. government had to admit it. NATO was involved. The British were involved. The Germans were involved. They called them stay-behind networks. After World War II, uh, a lot of the Nazi-held areas, the U.S. just took over the Nazi networks that were there, like Ukraine, uh, Western Ukraine, and continued to use them to carry out terror attacks, but they were being directed by the West. So that's how this operates, and people need to be made aware of that. And I, I watched how this went, how the police tried to stand down so they wouldn't look bad to give them the political support. Then they start getting shot, and our media is calling them freedom fighters, and precision, you know, throwing Molotov cocktails at police cars, burning them up, and very serious situation. And look, if the Ukrainians want to overthrow their government, that's their business, but the West is in there stirring it up, overthrowing an elected government, and now putting people in even worse so the EU can suck them dry. This is the type of stuff they'll do in America. 
They will commit mass shootings and blame it on the Tea Party. You can see all the writing on the wall. They will commit New Oklahoma cities and blame it on us. And I'm just.